The forces are so high in these tornadoes that historically structural engineers have decided that it was not possible to create a survivable home. Here at IBHS, we conduct rigorous building science to identify the most effective ways to make homes and businesses more durable against Mother Nature. A lot of our building solutions have been tested in coastal areas, but we know that many of those same solutions would apply in the middle of the country. The way houses are commonly put together in the middle of the country, where they're just kind of nailed together, those connections are really poor. We can do much better. Most people think there's really nothing you can do to defend against a tornado. That simply isn't true. If you look at the path, the worst damage is going to be confined to a very small part of the storm track. That's the EF4, EF5. And a lot of storms never even reach that intensity. We can narrow the path of damage. We can virtually eliminate EF0 and EF1 level damage and take a big chunk out of EF2 through some simple engineering methods. The research being done here at IBHS proves that wind speeds below 135 miles per hour can be addressed efficiently in a safe manner without changing the lifestyle of the occupant. Our fortified program started with our observations and our knowledge about how buildings were performing in these major events, looking at damage from a lot of different storms that we've looked at. So we had a good idea of what needed to be done. The research center now helps us provide the details and the science to back that up. Fortified is a voluntary set of design, building, and retrofitting standards that can be applied to homes and businesses to make them stronger and safer. One of the key features of Fortified is a strong continuous load path. That means the roof is tied to the walls. The walls are tied to each other, they're tied to the floor, and the floor is tied to the foundation. A strong continuous load path basically doubles the strength of connections that were already going to be made in your house. When you want to resist the heart of one of these major storms, you want to make sure that your load path, that all the connections are appropriate so that you really give your building the best chance possible of surviving that storm. Every building is connected together to some extent, but the connections may be really weak. That's where we really needed to focus and push additional dollars and materials in there to make those connections better. By instrumenting all those connections, as we're doing right now, we're understanding that pathway of the loads getting down to the foundation, where we need to put the strength, where it may be missing. The cost of making a fortified home is so small in comparison to the loss that you're going to suffer without it. Habitat wants to build houses that are truly transformational. Our houses are running approximately $125,000. So to build to a fortified standard is literally going to cost us pennies on the dollar. Building to fortified home standards is a natural addition to our practices. Everyone wants a home to return to after the storm has passed. And resilient construction makes that possible. It also prevents injuries and fatalities. It preserves jobs and keeps the fabric of a community from being torn apart. What we're trying to do is reduce the damage path, reduce the insurance damages, and it will eventually save lives. Resilience is possible. It is affordable. For more information about resilient construction, go to disastersafety.org.